Hello again. <clears throat> We're back for another installment of our Hobbit Rogue playing in Evil Hack. Um, and when we left off last time, we got into Mine Town, tooled around a bit, and we've just entered the general store for the first time. We're carrying a bunch of stuff. Um, and we are going to want to price identify it all. So if that's not your thing, feel free to skip, skip these next couple minutes. Um, but there are some evil hack uh, twists to the normal price ID process, so you might want to stick around. Um, first, I'm just going to check these daggers are plus zero, which they are probably. Um, I mean, theoretically, they could be negatively enchanted, but it would be odd if they were, since they're uncursed. Um, this silver dagger I actually don't know off the top of my head oh, do I have a unicorn horn? No, I don't yet Okay, do I? No um, but I can use the object lookup to see and it is has a base cost of 4 Okay. so um, silver is worth 3 times iron which in turn is worth it's worth more than wood, which is what elven daggers are normally made out of. So I'm pretty sure uh, eight zork mint would be a reasonable price for plus zero silver elven dagger. Um, so yeah, because of object materials, you have to worry a little bit about uh, more. You have to worry about more multipl multipliers than normal. Um, so again, broad short sword, or dwarvish short sword. We can see base cost of 10, and mithril is worth 5 times iron. So 19 is 3 fourths of 25, which means it's plus 0. The weapons I'm using, like, um, day to day, I don't really need to price ID, because they'll identify eventually just from me using them a lot. But sometimes it's nice to know beforehand. Um, and then rings are just like in vanilla. Um, so yeah, um, I would, did a little bit of research on various things after last um, after the last video. Because as I'd said before, I haven't really, I don't make a habit of playing rogues. Um, so, yeah, I kind of didn't know what I was talking about some of the time. Um, yeah, I said before that I don't think that um, stealing is worth it. I'd still say that you can easily go by without stealing anything. But after looking at how it works a bit more, I, it seems more viable than I'd originally thought. Um, so, as a hobbit, you have a small bonus to stealing, but then also, whenever if you have really high dexterity, that's a big help. And you can pretty, like, if you have, like, um, well-enchanted gauntlets of dexterity, it's really, really easy for you to steal stuff from shopkeepers and such. Um, and, you know, maybe you'll find a dragon or some other pet that can just kill the shopkeepers instead. But um, unless you find something that can kill them really quickly, then they're likely to use up all their healing potions and such. So being able to steal them instead is actually pretty useful. Of course, you have to use a bunch of skill slots. So um, I don't necessarily know whether that's worth it. Uh, so 369 over 1.5, which is how much this, how much more steel is, and then over 41 gives us six. So looks like a lot of money, but they're actually just plus one. Um, I'm gonna want to keep some of them, just because um, it's better than plus zero. But probably I'll find even better enchanted stuff at some point. So I'm gonna say, uh, uh, let's say I'll drop uh, 35 of these. Um, so I'm left with enough to make three things, more or less. 
Um, these arrows are probably plus zero. Yep. Um, and then these arrows are plus zero. I'll just sell them all. Um, I ate, I think, like a rotten mimic corpse or something. So I am also getting confused and nauseous and stunned and all that good stuff as I'm doing this. So I need to be very careful not to move since I'm next to the shopkeeper. Um, ba -ba -ba darts. These bone darts I can't use to forge since they're not metallic. I don't even remember why I picked them up. But uh, I might as well sell them now, I guess. Um, cursed arrows, I don't need those. That's another plus one. I suppose technically selling steel arrows individually gets you like four thirds the money you'd get otherwise, more or less, because they have to round up, but uh, definitely not worth the effort. Um, so plus zero darts, I'll just drop those. Oh, those are really nice. Um, they're probably magical. I still can't use them that well because I can't forge them, but uh, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Um, what were they? They were 816. So 816, I think bones twice as valuable as metal. Um, over 8 gives you 51. And so then times two to get the actual price. So 102 per dart. And yeah, that tracks. Um, if an object is magical, then they it gets an extra 100 Zorkmids added to its price. So yeah, I don't know what they do, but presumably um, they like do extra fire or cold damage or something like that. I don't know. They might. I don't know if ammunition's eligible to be like ESP or warning, because uh, those are other properties weapons can have, but they only count when they're wielded, and since you don't normally wield ammo, I just, it might be that they're disallowed from that, because it would be silly. Um, drop this skull cap, it's not more than plus zero, so I'm not going to bother uh, BUC identifying. I want to know what this steel sword is, yeah, that's just a normal plus zero as well. Okay, finally finished with that food sickness spell. Um, food sickness stretch of time. Spell is a bit ambiguous when you're in a setting where actual magical spells are being used occasionally. Um, found a blessed 300 Zork mid scroll. Uh, so. In theory, there's not really a downside to reading it, because it's either something good for me, which would be like genocide or charging, or the worst it could be is punishment, but I think blessed punishment like doesn't do anything. Don't quote me on that. Anyway, um, but the problem is none of the good effects are actually that helpful for me. Um, especially in, so in vanilla, uh, reading Blessed Genocide early, it's like, it's not like it helps you a lot in the short term, but it it's, it could be very helpful in the long term to, you know, Blessed Genocide liches or something. Um, but you actually, so, first of all, you can't bless a genocide, you, you can't genocide any kind of lich until you kill this monster in Gehenna called uh, Vecna. So, uh... That's, yeah, not terribly helpful. I'm just checking my skills. Um, since I'm skilled in short sword now, and I'm about to be heading up towards um, the dungeon again where monsters will be a bit easier, I think I'm going to start uh, two weaponing um, to get that up. So. Of course, as I say that, these ravens are just absolutely wrecking me. Um, I'm going to throw some daggers. 
Okay. Um, anyway, so and all, so you can't uh, bless a genocide liches. Um, you can still do mind flayers, but the scariest kind of mind flayer is this new thing called the Alhoan. I have no idea if I'm saying that correctly, but um, it's like a cross between a mind flayer and a lich. It's undead, and it does lots, cast lots of spells. And worst of all, it's covetous like the more powerful liches, so it'll warp right next to you and start sucking out your brains. Um, and you also can't genocide those until Vecna's dead. So um, yeah, a lot of genocide targets that you normally would go for, you just can't go for. And then furthermore, um, Blessed Genocide uh, doesn't work the same in um, Evil Hack. It only kills two monsters in a class. Which is, it's basically always worse than Uncursed Genocide. Um, unless you're using two scrolls to wipe out the liches. Which again, you can't do immediately. Anyway, that was a long-winded way of saying this might be nice to have later, but for now, it's... Uh, I'll probably just kind of forget about it. Um, yeah, I mean, anyway. So actually, what's my gold at? I have 500-ish. Okay, I was thinking maybe I should sell those really expensive bone darts if I could get to protect, get some protection with it, but I'm not, I wouldn't even be close to the amount of money I need for that. So I'm just going to keep them around um, to see what they are. Uh, okay, so I think we're ready to go. Um, Oh, and I need to check out the hardware shop, of course. Do I have a pick? Yeah, I do. I just couldn't remember that. Um, oh, shoot. I did not see that wood elf there. I really need to be keeping a better eye out. thought it was a watch captain. Um, horn time. And the wood elf resisted. I'm fast, so I might be able to lock myself in here. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, I think Tooled Horn might be... There might be a monster in our check. To just check if they're frightened. Oh, that was pretty lucky for the elf not to get scared, if that's the case. Um, I already have a blindfold, so... It Towel's not that much more important. I want to make an upgrade to a towel eventually, but uh, it's not really necessary right now. Stethoscope, on the other hand, that's a big find. Um, and a magic whistle, alright. I'm going to pay for this magic whistle immediately. And once I heal up, I'm going to go down here. There's some cats here. You know, this room always has two kobo shamans and two cats. And I'll tame one of them and get it to steal the stethoscope. And maybe the towel while I'm at it. Um, okay. And where am I? Okay, my throw is better. Um, the reason I'm wielding this steel dwarf, dwarfish sword sword in my main hand is because uh, evil hacks changed to weaponing. Um, and so now what you're allowed to two weapon depends on your skill level. So uh, if you don't have any two weaponing skill you um, and you try to wield something that's heavier than 20 units in your offhand, then you get a really big two hit penalty. Um, negative 20 or 30, something like that. Um, and then when you're basic, you can wield up to 30 AUM. Skilled is 40, and then expert 70. Um, so it's a bit odd um, because with all the object materials that have different weights, um, 
you can like get access to different weapons than you would expect. So like normally at unskilled you wouldn't be able to wield for instance a short sword without having a two hit penalty but because um, one of mine is mithril it only weighs 11 units and so it'll be fine but the steel one is like 20 something I think um, so uh, yeah I can't see it from here but regardless uh, AM. Yeah, so it wouldn't be, I, I wouldn't be able to wield it in my offhand um, and do up effectively. But right now, I'm just worried about killing this elf who is over here now. I'm going to use my iron daggers because elves hate iron. Um, so. Lizard, I'll just go around it. Hobbit's probably going to be peaceful to me, yeah. It looks like the elf might have killed some orcs. I don't know why else. Or no, I killed the orcs last time. That would be it. I'm not getting much luck with my multi shot today. There we go. Okay. That's good. Um, let's see. I guess I can check out this elven cloak. Um, I have stealth as a rogue, but what do I have as a cloak right now? Yeah, hooded cloaks don't grant any AC, so should be an upgrade. Let's check if it's cursed, and it is. Okay, well, never mind then. Oh, and there's a blue jelly over here. I'm just gonna try to nab that one real quick. Um, get poison resistance whenever you can, as soon as you can. That is my motto. All right, um, so now we're gonna have a pet breakout over here. Um, and then I'm just gonna check real quick. I can't, I think kobold shamans might be able to cast fireball if they're high level enough. I don't know but I wanted to make sure I wasn't um, wheel, uh, didn't have any scrolls or stuff in open inventory. And then I have some nice fortune cookies. Boom, okay. So, wait, where'd the magic whistle go? Oh, it's there. Come on, get over here. Strength isn't that important. It just governs all the damage you do. Who needs that? Um, I guess I'm grateful for the constitution increase. You can always use extra health. Um, given that the code's casting protection, it's probably not a good target for two opening right now since I am just starting and not very accurate. Um, there's a fun little, oh, one thing I forgot to mention because it wasn't really relevant. Um, is that if you're a giant or if you have gauntlets of power, then there aren't any restric restrictions on offhand weapon weight. Um, well, not technically it's gauntlets that grant 25 strength um, which is very slightly different from gauntlets of power and also slightly different from having 25 strength because um, giant slayer will give you 25 strength but will not allow you to two up in whatever you want um, and there's this new artifact that sometimes generates called the hand of Vecna which is not a gauntlets of power, but they do grant you 25 strength, and they will allow you to wield whatever you want. Um, but, I mean, I'm going to be happy with my short swords or long swords at best, which will be fine with expert 2-up. Um, 
Yeah, that's one reason I might go to expert two weapon even if I just end up wielding long swords. Because then I can wield like a silver katana or something in my offhand. Because uh, silver is heavier than iron, so I couldn't wear, wield one skilled. Um, I think this dude's hostile. Yeah, I don't have to worry anymore, but I thought, I'm pretty sure he was throwing stuff at me. But I did, also didn't want to attack him until I got some definitive message about it hitting me. Um, and then my cat's around here somewhere. There we are. Um, and I'm gonna... Where did my kitten get a spell book? I guess she went into another shop. Well, thank you, I guess. I don't really need that, but it's sweet that you care. Um, I'm really hoping for that stethoscope. Yes. Okay. Oh, and of course I'm hungry again. Typical. Um, I don't really care about ID price IDing uh, spell books. Excuse me. Um, I don't care about price IDing spell books because they're all identifiable by weight. Identifiable by weight anyway. So. I'm just going to leave um, and go upstairs again. Actually, let's look at the dungeon just to see if there's anything I've forgotten. No, not really. You can. There's a couple of traps that I haven't untrapped yet. I've notated them in case I want to untrap them later for forging materials. Um, But, yeah, and I remember there's a zombie over here. Oh, it's gone. That's cool. Yeah, I really need to get some more food. Um, I guess let's go to the lichen. I'm not, I don't know, I don't want to wield it. I want to eat it. There we go. Uh oh, s s jumping spider. They're poisonous. Um, and very difficult to escape. In the current version, if you run into a dark corridor, then they won't jump at you. Because they'll only jump at you if um, you can see them. But uh, that's going to be fixed soon, so they'll be slightly more terrifying in most situations. Um, but I can tend it for some poison resistance. Um, Wield a dagger to open the tin. And then I feel slightly healthier. I can get my kitten over here, and we're back to the main dungeon. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go down to Sokoban probably, unless I run into some unforeseen difficulties. Uh, Alright, I still have orcish poisoned arrows with me. I should probably dump this somewhere. Anyway, um, yeah, um, I could definitely use this Okaban food. So this, I really don't want my cat coming in here. This is a room full of boulder traps. Um, and they can like start rolling like dominoes if you, they'll start setting each other off if you step on one. So. You never know what'll happen then. So I'm trying to be pretty careful about where I step. All right, they're all gone now. And I'm hungry again. I, I should eat this one this way for a while I can. I, w I wouldn't want to eat it near other monsters, because I think rotten food could make me lose consciousness for a couple turns. I think I'm going to actually dive a little bit. I can always explore the rest of the floor on the way back up to Mine's End, because I'll want to go there eventually. But I, I really need food. <laughs> um, 
All right, fear. I'm really loving the backstabbing bonuses. You can backstab well to weaponing any hack. I can't remember. I think that might not be a thing in 3.6. But, oh, and then my constitution got drained, because of course, that's fun. Three points, too. That's pretty bad. Um... this elvish spear with me. I don't need it. Um, I'm gonna drop that thing. Okay, so now I'm at basic two up and it seems like I have a decent time hitting monsters. Of course iron piercers have Really good AC, so I might have to switch again. What are they at, actually? They're at just basically say C0. I thought it would be worse than that. Um, like, that's sea turtle levels, which would not associate with. Um, Mithril, Curved Sword, that's a scimitar. Normally, I wouldn't give them the time of day. But you can use them to craft sabers, which, I mean, I probably also won't use, because I can get to skilled and longsword and get plenty of good artifact longswords and so on. Apron, that's a good find for poison resistance. Um, but I think sabers, you can also, yeah, rogues can get skilled in them. So I don't know, if I find, like, graze one deer or some reason, then maybe I'll go all in on sabers. And then I'll want that sword scimitar to, uh, Craft a nice mithril one. So yeah, I'm putting this apron on pronto. Won't even need to tin poisonous monsters anymore. So that's fun. Oh, longsword. Probably in a trap though. No, maybe not. That's cool. And my kitten stepped on it, so it's uncursed. I'm going to stick with my two weapon training for now though. One thing at a time. Yeah, I'm perilously close to being burdened all the time now because of that rabid dog. Yeah, okay, I can carry all this stuff around at once. So I'm just going to take out this stuff that I don't see myself needing immediately. I'll keep these around... Not, hmm. I don't know, it's possible this is paralysis or something, so maybe if I'm in a jam, that can be a last desperate attempt. To get out of something. Um, I keep bringing around the bone darts because they're light and I still want to see what they do. I'll keep my rings. I'll keep the wands on me too. And I'll keep the candle because I don't have any other better light source. And then everything else is pretty clearly useful. Okay, so we got ourselves another stash here. Currently our only stash. The wonders of playing a hobbit. Up until now, anyway, I had pretty good strength and constitution. But now I'm all poisoned and stuff. I guess I could maybe risk drinking from a fountain. I'm fast, so like water demons aren't quite as scary as they might otherwise be. I'm not a huge fountain drinker, so I don't totally know the um, ins and outs of it, but I believe that if you find a magic fountain, then you have like a pretty good chance of um, restoring lost attributes. attributes. In the meantime, I'm just going to keep going. 
I don't have time to backtrack to other levels to find fountains there. Because I'm just so hungry. And I'm, I'm running pretty low on food, I think. There's a shop somewhere on the level. Where is it? Oh. I think I'm going to give it a shot. See if I can get over there. Because maybe, maybe I have food. General store. What sorts of goodies do you have for me? Hmm. Thing that seems like it's that important for right right now. So I'll come back later. Um, I noticed a broad bearded axe here, and it's red, which means it's made out of crystal. Um, so crystal is really nice weapon material for uh, piercing and slashing weapons. And um, And the broadboard bearded axe is also a very nice base type. It's a new weapon, the dwarvish bearded axe. And it does about the same damage as a longsword, just a little bit less. But you can also apply it to um, disarm an opponent, like a bullwhip, or take their shield away. Um, but rogues can't get good. Uh, they're restricted in axes, so it's not worth it. Um, I feel like quaffing might have a chance of cursing my items. So let's see, what, I'm, what am I willing to drop? Um, honestly, pretty much everything. I'm pretty sure you can't get a pool on this square you're standing on. It was non magical anyway. So it looks like that fountain is not going to be useful to us. I realized that I kept on exploring after finding the shop, uh, right after saying that we need to go, which is true. But then again, we might be lucky and find some food, like just now. Um, Still not really anything substantive, mostly kind of snacky stuff, uh, but better than nothing. Oh, and now we're probably going to get a pony corpse, alright, something. Um, I really need to change my, I have a bunch of settings for menu colors so that I know, uh, so it's easier for me to notice like bags of holding and stuff, but um, I need to change it so it doesn't get make color this prompt especially, because it's really distracting. Actually, can I do that right now? You might be able to do it in game. Um, menu, headings, no. I could have sworn I've seen it somewhere else. Oh, there is many colors. Oh, you can just turn it on and off. You can't change your settings at the moment. Um, I mean, I could just go into my settings real quick, but I don't know. Um, spear traps stab you in the leg and hurt you. Um, they, they damage you and they make it hard to um, hard to walk. Often you'll get whole rooms of them, so whenever you find one, you generally want to take a moment and just kind of search around to see if there's any others. Um, I will probably eventually want to break open these statues just to see if they happen to have spell books in them. But I'm not a spellcasting character, so I don't need to know right now if they do. Uh, 
Oh, finally some food rations. There we go. That's that's nice. It would be pretty sad if I like starved to death or something. Um, I wonder if anybody's ever wished for a ring of slow digestion as a hobbit. Like if they got an early wish. It probably wouldn't be the worst idea. <laughs> Not the best idea, I don't think, but it wouldn't be the worst idea. Oh, and we've got a fog cloud. Perfect time to train two up in combat if we get engulfed. Because we can't help but hit then. Um, and we're encumbered again. Man, that rabid dog. What a pain. At least we're finding some food. Long last. And Sokoban can't be more than a couple levels away at this point. And I can leave a bunch of stuff around there. Mm. What's my skill looking like? Far ways off from getting skilled. I think I can take this ogre. What's an ogre's ammo look like? Zero. If it had low MR, I was gonna test to see if it would also resist this tool horn easily or if it would get scared. I'm pretty sure that's an MR trick, but it might be something else like No yeah, it definitely is. I, I recall that it doesn't, it doesn't check, uh, it, it, it will scare monsters that Elberth doesn't, or, I mean, or at least it can, and most of them will probably have high magic resistance, but I've never actually seen, oh, mommy, a dwarf mummy is not too dangerous as they go, but have I been firing my iron daggers this whole time? Whoops. Um, as far as mummies go, dwarf mummies are less scary than most, but their withering is always kind of scary. Um, human ones, they have like a 1 in 8 chance of training maximum HP when they hit you, so you want to watch out. Try to stay out of melee range if you can. This one's pretty speedy though. Are they the same speed as an unhasted player? Yeah, wow. Oh, they finally got me with their withering attack. Eh. see if this helps. You can see they got a point. I was at 61 before. Um, that was pretty dangerous, but yeah, I, I, I kind of doubt. I wonder if, I, if it would be weird if mummies could be scared. So they probably can't. Maybe I should have tried nonetheless. Um, well, honestly, that went better than I expected. And I have all my daggers back. Do I have a mummy wrapping already? I do not. So I'll just take this one in case I turn invisible anytime soon. Um, could go downstairs, but I've been kind of skipping past bubbles, so I kind of want to know, just make sure that, yeah, okay, the oracle was here. Good thing I checked. Um, I don't plan on doing anything here other than running away from the scary giant turtle, uh, but it's good to know that Sokoban's the next level. 
so I won't leave it behind. I gotta switch to my metal daggers for the fire mold. Because my elven ones are wooden and they get burned. Um, nope, didn't drop a corpse. That's too bad. My stone orcish helm is probably better than the elven one. Yeah. Uh, like really late in the game, maybe I'll change my mind. But by then, I'll have better things than a random elven helm I found off a death drop. A winter wolf cub. Okay, that's not too bad. But I still do not want to face it right now. Oh, there was a level teleporter. I'm just going to go check the level up here while I heal. Nope, not up there. I mean, it was just a kitten. It's not really a big deal. Let's just say there's a reason I don't name my pets until they've grown up some. Okay, tiger time. Oh, there we go. Still no corpse. Yeah, so, oh, there's my kitten. Cool. Oh, there's Sokoban. I'm just going to explore the rest of this level, because... I'm probably not going to be back for a while. So... Hopefully there'll be a unicorn that I can kill in Sokoban for a horn. Um, I saw the violet fungus and it made me think of that because of the hallucination it can cause. Let's see what this fountain does for me. More non-magical. Um, and I'm going to try to stay unhungry as long as I can, because that exercises constitution, um, and I need to get mine back up, if for carrying capacity, if nothing else. Peek downstairs just to generate the monsters there. Because um, by the time I go down past Sokoban, I'll probably be significantly higher level from Sokoban, maybe Mind, uh, Mind's End even. There's probably a... Maybe there isn't. I was going to say there's probably a door somewhere along here. Oh, arg. I'm kind of surprised my wisdom hasn't gotten messed up from all my horn playing. I guess I haven't been playing that much. Rust monster. Luckily I'm not wearing iron much. Uh, elves hate iron so they um, never wear it and I've been playing a fair number of elves recently. So I'm not as scared of rust monsters as I usually am, because I've not been wearing much iron equipment. Um, and today I happen not to be wearing any except my hard shoes. But that's more coincidence than anything else. Oh, come on. Undead turning. Oh, and I... Where did I pick up gold? Ugh, what a pain. I'll stick it in my bag for now in case it surprises me again. In case the leprechaun surprises me again. Ah, uh, got me. Dang. So those boots don't grant any more AC. Well, that's 50 units of inventory cleared up. Um, I wonder how these leprechauns got woken up. If maybe my pet did it or something. Because I'm stealthy, and I don't think I was making noise for, with anything. So, oh no, I, I played the horn, that would do it. Um, 
It's kind of funny that horns are so useful for rogues when they're all sneaky. There's still plenty of other leprechauns tooling around here, but uh, I don't really need the gold at the moment. I'm going to just drop a whole bunch of stuff here when I go up st stairs. Uh, Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep my tripe rations because otherwise my cat will eat them as soon as I drop them. Um, potions. Maybe I'll get this one. I certainly want my pickaxe in case I screw up Sokoban. Um, I really need to test out those bone darts. I mean, I probably won't be using them habitually anyway. Maybe I'll wait till I get a luck stone, just so they don't break. I don't know. It's not like I need them for anything, really. My daggers are doing the job fine. Uh, I haven't identified the scare monster yet, so I don't really want to, um drop any scrolls on the ground in case they are a scare monster. This leprechaun will try to snatch gold from between my feet. So I'm gonna move towards him. Okay. Let's just go upstairs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 